There are many important aspects that contribute to a successful TPO installation. Training tips and best practices at every stage of the process are critical to a quality and efficient installation. We will highlight a few helpful details on roof deck insulation, membrane attachment, robot welding, roof maintenance, as well as hands-on training to help expand your knowledge in the commercial space. Energy Guard Poly ISO insulation is a great way to help reduce energy cost as it has the highest R value per inch. Energy Guard is made of glass fiber reinforced cellulosic felt facers bonded to a core of poly ISO foam and is available in a variety of board sizes. Energy Guard Poly ISO insulation, manufactured and shipped in pallets, uses the latest technology in manufacturing to provide a product of the highest quality. A variety of fastening patterns can be used for your convenience, so it's easier to configure on the job site. Insulation fastening patterns can vary on the field, on the perimeter, and on the corner. To ensure a proper installation, it is important that the substrate is clean and the surface has been cleared of any debris. Insulation board is easily cut with a razor knife, as you can see here, installing the board over a cricket. Simply score the bottom of the insulation and apply pressure until it takes the shape of the cricket. Fasten with screws to complete the final stage of installing the insulation. Energy Guard Poly ISO insulation can be used in practically any low slope roofing application and is designed to increase the speed and accuracy of installation. EverGuard TPO 60 mm membrane is suitable for most types of low slope roofs. In the example, we're showing you mechanically attached and fully adhered. However, there are a variety of other ways to install TPO, which can be found at GAF.com. A mechanically attached roofing system uses screws and plates applied in the seam at either 6 inches or 12 inches on center. Different fastening patterns may be used based upon individual specification and build configurations. It is important to make sure you screw the plate all the way down. On an adhered membrane system, EverGuard TPO membrane sheets are adhered to the insulation or substrate with GAF's EverGuard 1121 bonding adhesive, EverGuard Low VOC TPO bonding adhesive, or water-based EverGuard WB181 bonding adhesive. Some states require low VOC products Adhered systems are great for when a higher wind rating is required for longer warranty duration. Welding should not be done if the seam is wet or dirty. If you are laying membrane and welding on the same day, it is not necessary to clean the seam until it is dirty. But if the membrane will be left exposed for more than 12 hours, it is important to use EverGuard Seam Cleaner. Begin by spreading adhesive on the substrate and TPO membrane and wait for it to be tacky. When the adhesive sticks to your finger, it's time to apply the membrane. It is required that a pressure roller be used to adhere the membrane for every application. There are wider rollers available that make it easier to adhere larger areas at a time. A robot is an easy way to heat weld TPO. Setting up the welding robot properly is the key to having a properly installed roof and performing test welds is one of the most important steps. Testing should be conducted on the roof instead of the ground due to variances in temperature, wind, and overall weather conditions. Test at various speeds and heat settings and then cut into separate strips. Wait a few minutes for the seam to cool and peel the seam apart to see the full exposure of the scrim. GAF TPO has a wide welding window, which means you can get a good weld over a range of speeds and temperatures. Continue to test at higher speeds until you reach a poor seam and then go back to the last setting with which you obtained a good weld. Don't run the welder faster than you're comfortable with as running too fast can result in poor welds. Typically GAF suggests running between 8 and 16 feet per minute. For best results, steer the robot instead of kicking it. The robot is a versatile machine that can fit under low overhangs and tight spots, making it easier to weld TPO. A roof is a large investment and you want to ensure that you get a return on your investment. In order to get the expected life and performance out of your roof, a preventative maintenance program is essential. 
A lack of maintenance can not only result in leaks, but also premature replacement of the roof itself. Over time, water infiltration contributes to a rotting roof and eventual interior damage. As a result of the rotted wood, a large area of the roofing system needs to be rebuilt. Repair is fundamental in maintaining a roof. In this case, the cricket was rebuilt to ensure the water is routed to the drain. Maintenance and repair can help protect your most valuable asset and give you the peace of mind that you need to know that your new roof is performing as well as intended. CARE offers professional, non-biased educational programs to the roofing industry. Training is available through CARE in English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. In this training session, Senior Training Manager Paolo demonstrates how to weld TPO by hand. The training continues with a demonstration on how to weld with a robot. Learning how to use your equipment efficiently and proficiently is important for a proper roof installation. We hope you enjoyed this look inside a TPO installation and have gained some additional knowledge and understanding that you will take with you for future projects.